Guys, so we're going to talk about what to expect and how to manage the dogs over the first 72 hours, which are critical. So, we've got a dog like Zara who loves taking care of her dog. She literally sits here if I let her out. She gets a few moments to herself and she wants to go back in. I don't know how to tell you just yet how to deal with the bad mother. Although, there is a drug we used before and the drug was to keep Maya calm because she didn't want to be a good mother. And even now she's thinking, how do I get out of here? You let her out, I let her sleep in the bed earlier today and finally, she decided to come back. T Fit here with Fit Bully TV. If you watched the last video, then you heard me say, get you to have this on deck, which is also an opportunity for you to do some stack training because dogs love that little sweetness. They love a little sugar. But even more importantly, they believe that as early as, what, three to, to, to eight weeks, the dogs can, I won't say develop, but that's how early hip dysplasia can set in. And let me be very clear, the growth plates are not close to 14 uh, months, normally and at least past 12, past the first year. But what you wanna start doing is making sure the dog knows where to put its feet and how to use its body, especially as it's formulating. Some of you are doing so much for the dogs, they don't get a chance to do what? develop functionality, the bones, the hips, the joints, etc. And they've got a long journey ahead to make sure that they are, that they properly develop and, you know, overall function. So things that I do, I build a hill. The hill keeps them thinking, keeps them working, keeps them challenging, keeps them trying. I build the hill up every week because they get better and better at getting to their mother. Their mother is their first motivation. And what's the motivation uh, to be around her? She's got all the food. She holds the power. So when we say find your dog's driver, food is always, not, oftentimes, going to be the number one motivator or the things that keeps him going first. Touch your pups. So you see these dogs here? He's a little rowdy. Right away, you get over here, you massage and start harassing them this early, okay? Get them accustomed to being bombarded and harassed. You know what's funny is you guys can't feel this, but the reason why baby girl is so strong, he right now is protecting himself. You can feel how strong he's holding my hands. I wish there was a pressure thing. He's literally holding on for dear life. I mean, he is like, this joker is holding on for dear life. And what ends up happening is I start harassing her and moving her around. And eventually her feet, they start being, okay, this is what we do. So his, for instance, they're not doing anything. He's like, I don't know what to do because every dog is front heavy. So he's like, this is where I'm safe. Boy, you should feel how, how he's like flexing something serious. It's crazy. But with her, she's eating right now. I literally start harassing her that early and she starts flexing. And as she flexes those muscles, she's getting an idea of where to put those hands when she's moving around. So if you watched our other, We'll just say YouTube and stuff. Let me see if I can get her to do it now. If you watch the stuff, she was one of the first dogs to make it over this hill. Why is that? Because I start, and this is with her eyes closed. I start harassing her as early as three to four days. No, you're not going nowhere. Now on the other hand, Maya's dogs. Woo -hoo! Jesus Christ, people. What am I managing in Maya's? Hey, hey, do not step on them. I'm managing Maya's uh, lack of intelligence, unfortunately, but she's not a dumb dog, people. She's actually pretty smart, and she's super capable. So what we're doing is, is we've studied how Maya's dog stinks, and let me be very clear, even in putting them in the blanket, I put a dog in a blanket, let me see what happens. Zara's dogs get frustrated, they let you know that they're frustrated, and what ends up happening, you come over and you see them, they stop crying. Maya's dogs will be whining and whining and whining, so much so you could get excited. If a dog doesn't whines for more than 15 minutes, often something else is going on. You need to check on the dog. Check his temper, check his temperature, check the state of hypoglycemia, make sure that the dog is warm. Do a you keep and you check a pup's uh, temp with their rectal thermometer, which is just a thermometer. And you put it in a little booty, okay? And then you need to know all stages of temperatures. What's 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 the temperature that our pup should be from week one to week three? And then after week three, roughly, realistically, in about 10 to 14 days, the dog's temperature is relatively stable. And then it's just climbing, climbing until eight or nine weeks. In Maya's kennel, or Maya's whooping pen, I'm simply studying the dog's ability to get to her and eat. This hill will be implemented. As you see, I built it. I built a small hill. Normally, it's one more thing that goes on this. I built a small hill to challenge them, and we'll probably see tonight how they whine. I'm going to do some YouTube lives, which means I'm going to leave this camera rolling. 
keep you guys going so you can see everything that we're watching. So feel free to tune in. We'll do some things here and there. She's sleepy right now. That's why I knew she wasn't going to do it. And why I didn't put her on that table. Because when she sleep, she's just like this. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> Make sure your pups also don't eat too much. That sounds crazy. But you say, how much, how often should my dogs eat? The dogs, they say eat five, six times. The dogs should eat enough. Once you get an idea of how your pups are consuming food or feeding on the mother, give the mother a break. Let the pups go in. If the dogs eat too much, basically they can get sick. If they eat too little, they can get sick. It's a double-edged sword there, so find the balance. We'll talk more about that in another video. These two whopping boxes, the number one thing I'm managing at this early stage, three to five days, definitely three to 14, it's just that every dog stays alive. Keep them warm, Keep make sure that they're using the bathroom, and keep the mothers happy and well-fed. And as always, take care of your dogs.